And Curry. Oh, Stephen Curry. Steph Curry's secret life will shock you. This weird habit of Stephen Curry is likely to gross you out. Although Curry has emerged as one of the best players in the NBA, and even if you dislike him, you can't deny his skill on the court. Certain unusual aspects of him will shock you. Keep watching this video to see why his mother used to find him and how he became addicted to strange things. Pinball wizard from the NBA. Curry is, without a doubt, one of the world's best basketball players. Apart from that, he's usually recognized as the best shooter in NBA history because of his incredible three-point shooting percentage. However, some sources revealed that he had an eye problem that may have impacted his career. According to The Athletic, Curry disclosed that he wears contact lenses to treat an eye problem that he's had his whole life. Moreover, it was discovered that this issue hampered some of his aiming and shooting skills and that the contact lenses assisted in this regard. Curry appears to have played pretty much his entire NBA career with keratoconus, a vision disease in which the naturally round cornea thins and develops to bulge out like a cone. When you can't focus on light rays, your eyesight gets fuzzy and distorted, making simple tasks like reading, driving, and draining 30-foot buzzer beaters more challenging. And because of this, we can say that Curry is the NBA's very own pinball wizard. Curry's sickness worsens over time, so he wasn't wandering around like Auntie in the Thanksgiving wine goggles while emptying buckets at Davidson. However, Curry claims that his condition, which may be worsened by LASIK surgery, grew so much that he had to begin wearing contacts post All-Star break. Curry has gone nine games in a row with five or more three-pointers made, telling Thompson, it's like the whole world has opened up, shooting 43% from distance. We all probably thought Curry definitely would have 20-20 vision his whole life, because there ain't no way you shoot the ball that well if you can't see clearly. Not unless you're Stephen Curry. It's worth noting that Curry only began wearing contacts in 2019. After all, Curry set a league record with 402 three-pointers made in a single season in 2016, a total that may never be surpassed. It's perplexing to imagine Curry hit all those three-pointers while having bad vision. Perhaps his nickname should be Stephen Blurry. <laughs> Jokes aside, we must recognize that this exceptional athlete will never let his problems cause him to have a complex. In fact, Curry is flourishing outside of the NBA. Outstanding golf skills. This may come as a surprise to you because not many people are aware that the NBA isn't the only sport in which this individual shines. Stephen Curry is a multi-talented individual. Curry's a great golfer in addition to being the NBA's all-time three-point leader and a three-time winner. Curry holed out of the fairway with a 97-yard approach shot on Friday while competing in the American Century Championship at Edgewood Tahoe. With 16 points and a five over on the round, Curry concluded the first round of the competition tied for 10th position. That eagle was worth six points in this celebrity tournament's special scoring system. Possibly for the first time in his basketball or golf career, Curry made a six-point shot. Curry's anxiety was somewhat reduced by that shot. After eagling on number 13, he parred the remaining holes after starting his round with six bogeys and a double bogey. TJ Oshie of the Capitals leads the field following the first day by one point, with Tony Romo, Carson Palmer, and Adam Thielen among the notables at the top. Who would have thought that such a gifted player would have such an interesting addiction? Curry's addiction to popcorn. Curry may have gotten his father's excellent shooting skill, but he may also have inherited his father's love of popcorn. The 31-year-old, like his father, enjoys eating popcorn so much that he keeps power rankings for all 30 NBA venues. Stephen Curry is a popcorn specialist. It's his guilty pleasure, his favorite food. I have a huge popcorn addiction, he says. As a result, he keeps track of who in the league has the most fantastic and worst popcorn. Curry explains his criteria for judging NBA arena popcorn in one of his YouTube videos. Freshness, saltiness, butteriness, and crunch. He's come up with his perfect NBA popcorn sellers based on it. The Brooklyn Nets are his first pick. The Miami Heat and Dallas Mavericks are next. At the very bottom is LA. I don't know what happened in LA, Curry says in the video. But sorry, they have the worst popcorn in the league. They gotta get better. In the Staples Center, several vendors are offering popcorn, but all of them are already aware of the fact that Stephen Curry not only eats, but also criticizes their product. Aside from his popcorn addiction, how many of you were aware that he used to pay fines to his mother? Turnovers used to result in a fine. Stephen Curry is a global celebrity with a strong social media following. Curry's mother, Sonia, encouraged him to improve his dunking technique and gave him second thoughts. She confessed that she urged Stefan to give fines for turnovers so that he would stop doing unnecessary things. 
Fining, however, was a practice of the past, according to his mother. The good news for Steph Curry after making turnovers is that he's no longer required to pay a fine to his mother, Sonia. What's the bad news? Instead, she texts him. Curry committed five turnovers in the Warriors' Game 2 defeat to the Memphis Grizzlies, and he joked to the media after the match that he was pleased his mother wasn't there because he, quote, would have gotten an earful after the game. Curry, who claimed in 2015 that he owes his mother money if he makes more than a couple of turnovers in a game, recently remarked that he, quote, checks stopped cashing a couple of years ago, but she still calls it out. Curry must cope with the embarrassment of getting a text from mom instead of a cash penalty. For much of his career, Curry has averaged three mistakes per game, typically attempting to be too creative with his passing or dribbling. Next on the list is something that gives Curry comfort. However, chances are you'll be disgusted after learning this disturbing truth. Curry and his famous mouth guard. Curry's shooting technique is unique, although it's generally associated with a piece of equipment. His mouth guard? Curry has worn a mouth guard throughout his NBA career, and the choice extends back to his college days. If Curry wore it normally, the mouthpiece would be barely detectable. During games, though, he's continuously chewing on it, and he likes nibbling on it near the free throw line. While shooting from the charity stripe, he habitually pushes it to one corner of his mouth. Um, gross! What is Curry doing with his mouth guard? As he's described throughout the years, it's simply something that works in his favor and enables him to stay focused. In 2015, Stephen Curry told Jimmy Kimmel that tampering with his mouth guard is, quote, definitely a habit that goes back to his days at Davidson. He was participating in a 2007 tournament, during which he was smacked in the face by the Citadel's John Brick. I got elbowed in college my junior year and kind of busted my lip open, and so I wore a mouthpiece after that every single game, Curry told Kimmel. And then every year it's kind of gotten farther and farther away from my teeth. Curry is still scarred from the blow, but wearing the mouth guard has been a blessing. Why? Nibbling on it relieves Curry's anxious energy during games. I just chew on it like crazy, it kind of calms me down, Curry explained especially when I'm at the free throw line, so I can kind of get in my rhythm. Surprisingly, the technique has worked for Curry. In 2016, a fan evaluated Curry's free throws, both with and without the mouthpiece. That investigation revealed that he performed significantly better with the mouth guard. Some fans studied it. He said, I shoot 2% better on free throws with it out. Curry revealed this to Sports Illustrated in 2016. And I think he's right because when I shoot a free throw with it in, I always go, whoa, that's weird. It's where it's supposed to be. Curry has continued to gnaw on it throughout the years, and he has a lifetime free throw percentage of 90.8%. His lowest single season free throw percentage is 80.9%. In 2011 to 2012, and he's topped the league in this category four times. If you're curious as to how dirty the mouth guard is, you probably don't want to know. Curry confessed in his interview with Kimmel that using the mouth guard is, quote, a very unsanitary process, so he probably maintains it to keep it that way. The practice still disgusts admirers, family members, and even dentistry professionals. That concludes our video for today. If you're interested in learning more about Stephen Curry or any other NBA player's lifestyle, please like and subscribe to our channel. Peace!